guys, I am Pixel Dan, and today we've got an early look at the San Diego Comic Con exclusive Mattel Back in Action box set. This is a really interesting exclusive, and it's one that I was pretty excited about upon learning of. If we rotate this box around to the spine, you can see that this particular box set includes figures based on three of Mattel's classic properties from the 1960s and 1970s, including Big Jim, Pulsar, and Major Matt Mason. Rotating around to the back of the box, we get an explanation that says Mattel's favorite figures are back in action and ready to battle, only now they're ultra-ripped superheroes. We broke all the rules by taking our star characters from the 60s and 70s and masterfully recreated them as beefed up, heavily muscled heroes with mid-80s comic book styling. It's a design that knocked the breath out of the toy world back in the day. If you're a fan of action figures, comics, and animation, then this collection is for you. If you haven't already seen these, I think the style that they're talking about, that mid-80s comic book style, will be quite apparent to you as we pull these out of the box. The other side here, you can see that we have three individual boxes slid into this. Almost like this is like a, a DVD cover or a VHS cover or a book cover with the individual boxes on the inside. Pulsar, Big Jim, and Major Matt Mason, each kind of color-coded there. And in case you're wondering, uh, this box is about 10 inches tall. Uh, close to seven inches in width. And let's just go ahead and pull these out of the box, shall we? So we'll kick things off with a favorite Mattel figure of mine, which is Pulsar, the ultimate man of adventure. I love this very retro aesthetic, this very psychedelic kind of red and blue pattern there, an image of Pulsar, some classic artwork there, and a little window box fully showcasing the brand new action figure on the inside. The back just has the logo once again. So the next one we're gonna pull out is Big Jim, of course. As somebody who loves Masters of the Universe, it's worth noting that the Big Jim line uh, has a lot of, Masters of the Universe has a lot of roots in Big Jim, so that's pretty cool. Um, so again, some classic artwork here, a window showing the figure within, and just the logo on the back. And our final one here is Major Matt Mason, another incredibly cool classic Mattel figure, window box showing the figure within, really incredible stuff. So these are the three figures included on that box set there. So the packaging doesn't start there because now we can open up these individual boxes and we can pull out the individual blister cards. Look at that. With a nice blister bubble fully showcasing the action figure within. The back of it is a little more nice than the back of the outer box there with that classic Pulsar artwork. Uh, and even a little bio here. Name Pulsar, AKA the ultimate man of adventure. Skills, see through chest and super strength. And his motto, he's got the guts to take on the most impossible missions. Really, really cool stuff. And then here's the big gym card back outside of that outer box there. Rotating this around to the backside. Name Big Jim, a.k.a. leader of the professional agents, crime killers. Skills, martial arts master and an outdoorsman. And his motto, he's ready to tackle any dangerous criminal. And finally, the card back for Major Matt Mason. Again, this is the classic artwork from the old packaging on the back there. It's really cool. Major Matt Mason, AKA Mattel's Man in Space. Skill, protective space gear, astro astronomical bravery. Motto, he lives on the moon. We may all be there soon. Oh, that's nice. <laughs> So there's all three of our blister cards for these brand new retro inspired action figures. Now these don't appear to be resealable by any means. These bubbles are actually glued on there, which means if we're gonna open these up, it does look like we're gonna have to open these up like typical retail packages. So think about that if you're somebody that wants to keep things in the package, but for the sake of this video, we've gotta open them up and get a closer look at the action figures within. 
All right, so we've got our brand new Mattel back in action figures outside of their blister bubbles. And if I bring in the tape measure here, you can see that the figures are right at about four and a half inches tall. And if you have not already figured it out, these are done in the style of Mattel's Marvel Secret Wars lineup. Very, very similar. Uh, in fact, why don't we go ahead and just start with a little bit of a comparison time to show you some of the classic Marvel Secret Wars figures standing alongside these new ones. Now, one thing I will say is that these new ones do seem to be a little bit bigger than those Secret Wars figures. Um, definitely bigger than characters like Spider-Man. I would say Magneto is probably the closest in size, but these new figures are even bigger than him as well. So these are brand new sculpts. They are not reusing the very old <laughs> Secret Wars molds at this point, but they just created brand new figures that are done in the style of Secret Wars. A little interesting that they're a bit bigger than those Secret Wars figures, but the form factor does feel the same. It's very similar. They look very similar. So definitely done in in that style, which I think is appealing to a lot of the older collectors of figures from the 80s like Secret Wars. It's one of those form factors that I think a lot of fans really love. So it's really interesting seeing Mattel take some of these classic licenses that in most cases, I mean, in the case of Pulsar and Big Jim, these were much bigger figures. Pulsar was like a 12 inch uh, Big Jim was like an 8-inch, and then Major Matt Mason was a bendy figure. So now we've got them in a proper sort of almost 5-inch scale action figure. So that is really interesting stuff. So we can go ahead and look at these guys individually here. So Major Matt Mason has got quite a bit going on. In fact, he's got the most deco, I feel like, out of all of them. And it's worth noting that the bodies are like the same bodies on all three of them, where there's no extra sculpted details. They're smooth bodies, and all of that deco is just painted on there. Um, so you can see lots of um, design work to make it look like Matt Mason is wearing his classic astronaut uniform with like the black on the shoulders and the thighs and the knees you got the uh, u.s flag right there across the chest um and then the head sculpt is where there's really only uh any sculpted details whatsoever so he's got the little flat top and everything there and of course these guys are just your basic five points of articulation with the head turning left and right the arms moving up and down and the legs moving up and down and that's all you're going to get out of these guys just like the old secret wars toys Big Jim, of course, had lots of different looks in his line. So this is kind of like your standard Big Jim look uh, with the uh, blue shirt. You got the uh, belt, the white pants, got the little wrist uh, bracer here, this communicator looking device. Great 70s hair. Uh, I will say that the left eyeball looks like it's a little misprinted on mine. It is definitely not lined up the way it's supposed to be. I don't know if that's going to be a common thing on all of these or if I just got an unlucky one here. Um, you'll also notice, I don't know if you saw what the lights on there but there is quite a bit of copyright information on the back interesting that these are dated 2020 making me think that these were meant for something sooner than what we're getting now um but you know all of these figures do feel really nice i do got to say that they feel solid they've got weight to them the articulation points are nice and tight they're sturdy they stand up really good on their own so they're definitely some nice feeling retro inspired figures now pulsar is my absolute favorite but of course because of course the thing that makes him stand out is the fact that he he has a clear torso and they got a little insert in there to look like the inner workings of his body. Now, if you guys don't know, the original Pulsar doll from the 70s uh, had like a, a clear torso just like this, but you can see his heart and his lungs and all the tubes for his blood to flow through. And when you pushed a button on his back, like it actually made his organs look like they were moving and it pumped blood through him. He was awesome. So this is really cool. And like he clearly doesn't have that same action feature. But the fact that they actually gave him the clear torso and put that little insert in there to show his innards, I think that's awesome. He really stands out and is definitely my favorite of the bunch. One of the downsides with these guys is that there are no accessories included whatsoever. Um, you know, Pulsar could have maybe come with a cloth over shirt just like the original toy had, or I don't know, they didn't do like the opening face or anything like that, but that's something they could have done. Major Matt Mason could have come with his helmet. I think that is something that's missing from this figure. So that's the downside. I definitely would have liked to see some more accessories with these, uh, but as they are, they are still some pretty fun, nostalgic feeling toys. 
And with that being said, it's comparison time, my friends. So I'm going to stand this brand new uh, Secret Wars styled Major Matt Mason along with the original Major Matt Mason action figure from my collection that was released in the 1960s. As I mentioned, that one was a bendy figure. And these are the two that are closest in scale with each other from this assortment. Because now we're going to stand Pulsar alongside his original figure, and as I mentioned, it is huge. It is a much, much bigger doll-like action figure, um, so quite a big difference standing that alongside this new 5-inch scale figure. And lastly, we're going to stand Big Jim alongside a Big Jim figure. It's not the exact same one, but it is a Big Jim figure because I do still think it's important to see the scale difference between the original vintage Big Jim line and this brand new one from Mattel. And there you go, my friends. That is a look at the brand new Mattel back in action figures. All in all, I think these are a lot of fun. Now, I'm somebody who really enjoys toy history. And, you know, I've got a lot of these in my collection because I think those original figures are very cool for what they are. I love things like Pulsar's action feature. That blood pumping was reused later on for one of my favorite Masters of the Universe figures. You know, Big Jim, it was a huge line for Mattel. And, of course, a lot of things from that got reworked into Masters of the Universe later on. I love how I just keep going that direction. But, come on, what else am I going to do here? I'm the, I'm the He-Man guy. Uh, but Ma Major Matt Mason was another big line for Mattel in the 60s with space travel being so important to a lot of kids at that time. So it's really neat seeing Mattel kind of dig into their vaults pull these characters back and then present them in like a uniform style that even in itself is still a bit nostalgia driven. And I think fans of the Secret Wars kind of form factor are going to like these or just these retro collectors will enjoy these as well. I think these are a lot of fun. It's something unique and different and I totally appreciate that. So these will be available at San Diego Comic-Con at the Mattel booth, but Mattel is also doing limited pre-orders of their San Diego exclusive starting Friday, July 22nd at 9 a.m. Pacific time. So definitely stay tuned for that if you are not going to make it out to the show. Thank you guys so very much for watching and special thanks to Mattel for sending these along so we can get a good look at them outside of the packaging. And until next time, my friends.